What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub. I'm your hostess with the mostest, TJ. And today I'm on the beach in the middle of December with no clothes on. Why you may ask? Why am I inflicting this torture upon myself? Well, the reason is I bought myself a chargeable, USB chargeable heated vest, which is actually meant for builders to work. Alright guys, as the naked version of myself from the future just told you, today I've come out to the beach, a lovely place here called Shinmaiko in Aichi Prefecture. So uh, obviously I couldn't have picked a worse day for it really, could I? But I guess the windsurfers are loving it. It is windy and cold and it looks like it's about to rain. So don't say I don't do anything for you guys, I'm suffering from my YouTube. So basically what I'm going to do is head over to that beach over there and strip off let my body get cold for a while, test my temperature, then put on my new um, electric thermal vest, whatever you want to call it, and gear up, see what my temperature rises up to, see how comfortable I am, see how good it is for riding, because it's not actually meant as a, uh, a motorcycle vest. And then I'll just kind of give you a quick run through of my winter gear, what I've got, and any winter riding tips that I may have for you. So let's head on, head on over to the beach and get naked. Now I guess as with other seaside places around the world, they used to, you know, be popular, have industry, have fishing to rely on and tourism and stuff. But you know, these days not many people want to go to go on a vacation in their own country. So yeah, I guess this place, like as with any other place in sea, little seaside town in the world, is kind of I guess you could say hit hard times, but it's a strange place this one because it's so close to the city. It's only say I think it's 30 kilometers from downtown to here. So now it's become a sort of a trendy place because people can easily get into work on the highway or the train and there's a train station just here which is a pretty good train, it's pretty fast. I think it only takes maybe 25 minutes to get into the city where all the jobs are. So it's become a kind of a trendy place for, for rich people to live now. So it's kind of strange, oh shit, I want to go lift it, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so it's become like a bit of a trendy place for rich people. So as you're going along through this place, oh great. Uh, actually the cops didn't see me do that turn there. But uh, yeah, so now half of the, the town is kind of shitty old buildings and half of it is brand new, really cool looking houses with big garages and uh, foreign cars parked outside everywhere. Got a burger shop over there, it's probably closed. A lot of these things are seasonal and a surf shop and obviously there's a lot of windsurfing going on today. Um, but this beach area, I hope that there's not going to be anyone there because I do not want to be standing naked in front of a load of people with a camera strapped to my head. Or maybe I should leave my helmet on. <laughs> so anyway, we're nearly there now. What do you reckon to this new camera view that I've got on the back of the bike? It's a uh, GoPro Hero 8 with the Hyper Smooth on, so it should, it should have nailed out all the little vibrations and smoothed the footage out quite nicely, I hope. But anyway, there we are. There's one person down at the beach. Hopefully there's no women that are going to laugh at my love handles. Maybe there'll be some young girls with like a father complex and they'll be like, Oh, look at his dad bod. That guy's so sexy. So I've checked my temperature. I'm now 35.9 degrees. Don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to expose myself to the cold for another 10 minutes or before I get arrested for public indecency. Now I'm going to gear up and go for a half an hour ride and then check my temperature again and just give you some feedback on whether these heated vests are good or not for motorcycles. So another 10 minutes. I can do it. I can do it. All right guys, so as you can see, here is all of my winter gear. This is what I wear on a regular day, whether I'm going for a bike ride or I'm just riding to work. Now on the bottoms, I don't really have anything special. I do have a pair of ski pants I sometimes wear when it's really, really cold, but otherwise just a regular pair of jeans and some underwear. Now this is the new thing. This is the heated vest. You can see there it's got the power button 
and this is the Buffalo I Buffalo supplied USB power bank. Well, I haven't actually tried it yet, so today is the first time. And this is my trusty jacket. This is a, a lychee. Now this is a jacket that I got from AliExpress, so you would assume it was cheap and shit. But first point, it wasn't cheap. It was 18,000 yen, so about $200. And the quality is amazing. I've had this for about a year now, but it's got, so it's got two types of zips on it. So you can zip the inner part and then the outer part. When it gets too hot, you can open these and clip them on. They provide like a, a vent. Loads of pockets, pockets on the front and pocket on the back as well. Full, full length of your waist on the back. Adjustable arms in two positions. Good quality zips. This is adjustable. The collar is adjustable as well. Let's see if I can do it now. You can just move this so you can loosen it or tighten it to your neck. Now I've worn this in the middle of February and March in Japan when I rode up to a ski resort and it was too hot. I was actually too hot. So this vest is kind of pointless unless I'm riding into some fucking Arctic storm or something, but I want to try it nonetheless. It would be good for being able to wear a thinner jacket. Maybe if I'm going to do a track day or something and it's really cold, this would be ideal to wear under my leathers even. So yeah, this is basically all my winter gear. My gloves are back up on the bike over there, so I'll show you those. Well, you probably see that from the onboard footage anyway. But my gloves are a Japanese make called Komin or Komine, which are also very good. And they're not so thick that you can't feel anything and they do have knuckle protection and stuff like that. So they're, they're a good glove. So I think it's almost been 10 minutes now. So it's time to get changed, get dressed and check out this bad boy. I'll just quickly open it up and show you what's inside. The Velcro is so, so strong. Now this one, the size is F, which means fits all apparently. And the brand, don't know if it's going to be the same in your country, but in Japan, it's the N project brand. So the places where this is are heated are here, here and here. Now, if you open this zip, you can remove everything. All the wires are inside, all little plugs. So if you wanted to wash it, which I, I guess you probably will want to, you can remove all of the heated packs and then you're able to wash it. But basically this part is the important part. So this is the USB power. So you plug it into the out on the USB power bank. Make sure that your power bank is also turned on. Then when you come around to the front, hold down the power button. Don't know how many seconds, two, three, Okay, that's on. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe you can't see it, but now it's flashing red. So when it's flashing red, that means it's kind of in the warm up process. And when it is fully warmed up, that turns to blue. And then you press it again, it changes to pink. And then you press it again, it changes to red. So they're like the three, the three power settings for the, how much heat it produces. So in actual fact, it's quite thin. It's probably hard to see from the video, but it's a very thin waistcoat or vest, whatever you want to call it. So it is basically, it will be great for wearing under a thinner jacket, maybe. Maybe even leathers, we will try that out. Hopefully I'll be doing a track day next month. So yeah, I'm pretty sure 10 minutes is up. So let's get dressed because I'm freezing my fucking balls off and my dick has done a turtle head and I don't know where it's gone anymore. All right. <sighs> All right guys, so I've got the vest on now. As you can see, it's uh, been turned on now for about five minutes. I turned it on when I was showing you all my gear on the wall a minute ago. So I think what we need to do now is gear up and go for a ride and see what it's like. Let's just put this camera down here a minute. All right, let's gear up. All right guys, so I've just stopped and plugged in the cable into the charger at this little temple here. Nice little temple. Better not disturb the piece too much with my noisy exhaust. But um, yeah, it took slightly longer to charge up when you first turn it on and it flashes red. Um, connected to the USB power bank, it took about 30 seconds. But with the bike, um, the USB charger, it took about a minute. So I figured that's probably just because I had the ignition on and didn't have the engine running. So I turned the engine on and then it seemed to, um, to be just fine. So now I guess it's been turned on for about a minute. The length of it is good. Can you see the length there? It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't get in the way. I can move around 
Um, I can move back in the sea, I can move, move sideways, no problem at all. I guess the only thing is, when you stop, obviously you're going to have to unplug it. And then it might get cold again, take a bit longer to warm up. And the only other disadvantage of this is, um, the switch to turn it on, the button on the vest itself. So to get to that, obviously I had to unzip, unzip my jacket again and then fiddle around looking for it. It's on the side, kind of around here. I don't know if you can see if I stand up. It's, it's around here, so it's not in like an easy, an accessible place. You can try and shove your hands in your jacket and stuff, but yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So I did actually have to unzip my jacket and sort of take my jacket off to, to my shoulders and that just to find the to find the button. But I mean, for people who are doing long rides, you know, like all those crazy guys with the big dual sports who like going on weekend adventures and a bit of off-road and a bit of on-road, whatever. It's having the ability, oh shit, having the ability to um, keep it running while you're riding anyway, plugged into the bike's USB charger is is great, I would say. So that's one thing I was not um, not really sure if that would work, but yeah, it seems to be absolutely fine. So right now I've got my vest plugged into my USB charger, I've got my heated grips turned on, and I'm just, how can I say it? Snug as a bug in a rug. Wow, where the hell did that come from? Uh, something my mum used to say to me when I was like five years old. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm feeling great. So definitely I would recommend one of these. So I've got about another 10 minutes to go on the journey. So I guess I've been using it for about an hour now. I used it for about 45 minutes maybe on the USB bank, the charger bank, and it was totally fine and now I guess maybe five minutes it's been plugged into the actual bike charger so well what the fuck are you doing man so yeah so far so good so final destination when i get there i'm going to stop and check my temperature again just to see um where we're at because when i was cold before when i was in my underpants of the beach like a freaking I idiot i was uh at 35.9 i think so it's a little bit cold my regular temperature when I'm not sick and when I'm just completely normal is about 36.5 I guess it's the same for most people so let's hope that I'm at least at 36.5 or maybe even a bit warmer so yeah another few minutes to go and we'll do that so see you guys when I get there all right guys sorry I had to cut the video short just there I needed the bathroom and I couldn't hold it in it's a sign of getting old it sucks anyhow I've just checked my temperature it was if you can see that 36.2 degrees, so only 0.3 degrees up from when I was freezing cold at the beach. But whatever, this doesn't matter because I can tell you for a fact that today my riding experience in winter was absolutely amazing. Um, normally when I go on a ride like today in this kind of weather, I would stop at a convenience store maybe three times and buy a can of hot coffee and have a cigarette and stuff like that. But today I only stopped once, so that's a damn good sign. And I can say to you from 11 o'clock in the morning when I first turned it on until 5 o'clock tonight when I just got home. I was just toasty and warm all day, you know, totally comfortable. And this thing is, I don't know what all the cheaper brand ones are like, but this one is about 150 bucks. Um, but the quality of it seems really good. It's not, it's not too thick, it's quite a thin material, so it doesn't feel bulky. You don't, you basically you just, you don't even know it's there except you're warm all of a sudden. So if anyone's in the market for one of these, I would highly recommend getting one. Maybe heated trousers or heated gloves, whatever. It just makes the riding experience better. You don't have to stop and you know try and warm yourself up all the time. So yeah, if you've got the money and you want one, get one. All right, that's enough from me for today. Make sure you like the video, share it, and if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Peace.